गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे दिस इज नुजरात सना आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट की वर्ड्स डैट वील बी कवरिंग इन टूडेज सेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल टॉक अबाउट सिम्बेक्स एक्सरसाइज मीन्स विच टू कंट्रीज हैव रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड द सिम्बेक्स एक्सरसाइज after that we will see whatsapp has been banned in which country and after that we'll talk about international geeta mahotsav pravasi parichay 2024 earth observation satellite 06 and at last we'll see who's the new chief justice of india means who is the 51st number of chief justice of india okay so now without taking any further time let's get started the first question is exercise simbex is recently conducted between india and which other country The correct answer is B option Singapore. Basically, the 31st edition of Singapore India Maritime Bilateral Exercise held at the Eastern Naval Command in Visakhapatnam from 23rd to 29th of October 2024. Talking about Simbex, it is an annual exercise between the Indian Navy and the Republic of Singapore Navy. It began as Exercise Loyang King in the year 1994. Okay. So this exercise has two phases. The first one is the harbor phase, which was conducted at Visakhapatnam with expert exchanges, sports, and cross deck visits. Second one is the sea phase in the Bay of Bengal. Advanced drills in the sea phase covers live weapon firing, anti-submarine, anti-surface, anti-air operations, and tactical maneuvers. Okay. So exercise Simbex Simbex is recently conducted in between India and Singapore. Talking about the Eastern Naval Command, Eastern Naval Command was established in the year 1968. Where what is the headquarters location of Eastern Naval Command? Headquarters of Eastern Naval Command lies in Visakhapatnam, and which Indian Ocean region does the Eastern Naval Command primarily oversee? Answer is Bay of Bengal, right? In the next slide, let's talk about some defence related news. The first one is which country hosts the international air exercise Tarang Shakti 2024? Tarang Shakti is an international air exercise and it is hosted by India this year. Lupex is a joint mission in between which two space agencies where Lupex stands for Lunar Polar Exploration Mission. So it is a joint mission in between ISRO and JAXA. ISRO is the Indian space agency and JAXA is the Japan based space agency. What is Nagastra one recently seen in the news? It is a kind of man portable suicide drone. Recently, who took over as the deputy chief of the air staff of the Indian Air Force? This is Air Marshal Tejinder Singh. Recently, which shipyard has launched the first indigenously built Talwar class frigate named as Triput? So, this Talwar class frigate Triput has been developed by Goa Shipyard Limited. Directorate General of Quality Assurance is an inter-service organization functioning under which ministry? It functions under Defence Ministry. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited recently delivered two Dornier 228 planes to which country? So recently, HAL has delivered these two Dornier 228 planes to the country Guyana. Okay. Question number two is: Recently, the Indian Council for Cultural Relations held a conference of Buddhist monk and scholars in which city? The correct answer is C option Colombo in the country Sri Lanka. Basically, the Indian Council for Cultural Relations held a conference of Buddhist monks and scholars in Colombo. Why to support the Pali's classical language status in India? Scholars and monks from different countries like Sri Lanka, Nepal, Myanmar, and Bangladesh attended this conference, emphasizing the role of Pali in preserving the Dhamma and Buddhist practices. So, Indian government's recognition of Pali reflects its commitment to promote the Buddhist heritage. and if you talk about the indian council for cultural relations it is an autonomous body that functions under india's ministry of external affairs focus here is on cultural exchanges with other countries right so the indian council for cultural relations held this conference in the city of colombo in the country sri lanka talking about the pali language what is the primary religious text that uses the pali as its language this is the ti pitak okay i am sure you would have heard about the pitak in your ancient history subject and uh, pali belongs to which language family answer is indo aryan language family if you talk about indian council for cultural relations this body was established in the year 
and who was the founding president of ICCI? This is Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. Okay. In the next slide, let's talk about some important summits and the conferences. The first one is what is the theme of an annual Indian Navy conference, Indo-Pacific Regional Dialogue 2024. The theme of this conference is resource geopolitics and source in the Indo-Pacific. Which country hosts the 46th session of UNESCO World Heritage Committee? This is India. Where was the 84th edition of All India Presiding Officers Conference held? This is Mumbai. Secondly, where was the 148th Inter-Parliamentary Union Meeting held? The 148th IPU meeting took place in Geneva in Switzerland. Secondly, where was the Asian Future Forum held? Answer is Hanoi in Vietnam country. Recently, where was the first India Gulf Cooperation Council Foreign Ministers meeting held? Answer is Riyadh. Where was the Aroha 2024 conference inaugurated? Answer here is New Delhi. Okay. Question number three is which country has recently banned the use of WhatsApp and Google Drive in the government department? This is the government of Hong Kong. Hong Kong has banned different applications like WhatsApp, WeChat and Google Drive on the official computers to boost the cyber security. And this strap addresses low cyber security awareness in the territory. Civil servants can still use these applications on personal devices, but they cannot use these applications on the government system. So the ban highlights the commitment of Hong Kong to protect the sensitive information and data integrity. This move obviously sets an example for other regions to focus on cyber security. So now the government of Hong Kong has banned the use of WhatsApp and Google Drive in the government department system, but uh, the employees can use it on their personal devices. Fine. In the next slide, we will be talking about some important countries that were in news. The first question here is, India has recently signed the protocol for the establishment of Joint Economic and Trade Committee along with which country? So India has signed this protocol for the establishment of this committee along with Dominican Republic. In a gesture of humanitarian aid, India has recently sent a shipment of nearly 90 tons of medical supplies to which country? So we have sent these uh, medical supplies to the country Cuba as a gesture of help. Recently, which country has decided to lift the restrictions on the sale of small arms to India as an exception? This is the country Germany. Recently, which two countries are planning to establish a joint crediting mechanism for carbon trading and credit adjustment through a memorandum of cooperation? These two countries are India and Japan. In a major advancement in the agricultural sector, Jammu and Kashmir has broadened its existing memorandum of cooperation along with which country? This is the country New Zealand. Recently, the Prime Minister of India presented four Bhishma cubes to which country? Bhishma stands for Bharat Health Initiative for Sayog, Hit and Matri cubes to which country? Answer is Ukraine. Recently, which country's ambassador inaugurated the Kohima Peace Memorial in Nagaland? This is the country, Japan. Okay. Question number four is, which state is the host of International Gita Mahotsav? The correct answer is C option Haryana. Haryana will be celebrating the International Gita Mahotsav from 28th of November to 15th of December. Don't forget that in this event, Tanzania is the partner country and Odisha is the partner state. Okay. So a special cleanliness campaign named as Divya Kurukshetra will be also launched in Kurukshetra with the chief minister participating so as to encourage the public support. And Gita Jayanti will be celebrated on 11th of December with key events occurring from 5 to 11th of December. Okay. So International Gita Mahotsav is hosted by Haryana this year. Two things are important. First of all, which country is the partner country? This is Tanzania. And which state is the partner state for this year's celebration? It is the Odisha. Okay. Talking about International Gita Mahotsav, where is the main venue for the International Gita Mahotsav? So the uh, main important or main venue is Kurukshetra in India. Fine. Now talking about Tanzania, which ocean borders the Tanzania country? It is the Indian Ocean and uh, what is the official language of Tanzania country? This is the Swahili. Okay. And if we talk about Odisha, which UNESCO World Heritage Site is located in Odisha, this is very famous Konark Sun Temple and uh, which dance form originated in Odisha as the name suggests it is the Odissi. Fine. In the next slide, we will be talking about some important art and culture related current affairs. The first one here is Purana Kila was built on the banks of which river? This is Yamuna River. 
Gorsam Gora Festival 2024 is celebrated in which Indian state? This is the festival of Arunachal Pradesh. Dasara festival which was seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state? Answer is Karnataka. Recently archaeologists discovered a 2700 year old Etruscan cult temple in which country? Answer is Italy. Hing Laj Mata temple is located in which country? This temple lies in Pakistan. Which Indian state was the theme state of the world's largest international crafts fair named as Suraj Kund Mela 2024? The theme state was Gujarat on this event. Sri Shingeshwara Temple, which was seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? This temple lies in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Question number five is, where was the Pravasi Parichay 2024 inaugurated to celebrate the India's linguistic heritage? The correct answer is B option, Riyadh. The Embassy of India in Saudi Arabia inaugurated the 2024 Pravasi Parichay event in Riyadh. and it is led by ambassador dr suhail ajaz khan fine so this is a week long cultural event that is started with classical languages of india showcasing india's linguistic diversity and indian community members performed a play in total 11 classical languages featuring the narration poetry and dance pali and prakrit poetry recitals captivated the audience and the event also included a quiz and a painting exhibition by the women artist which added to the cultural depth okay so pravasi parishay 2024 was inaugurated in riyadh to celebrate the india's linguistic heritage fine now which indian government ministry organizes the pravasi bharatiya divas this is ministry of external affairs fine in the next slide let's talk about some national current affairs the first question is Recently a rain water harvesting project in which state uncovered megalithic iron burials this is kerala state what is work presently seen in the news and work was in news because of work amendment bill it is a property that is dedicated in the name of god for religious and charitable purposes recently which ministry has introduced guidelines for bagless days for students in classes 6 to 8 this is ministry of education Recently which armed force launched the first of its kind skin bank for the treatment of severe burn injuries in defense this is indian army which state government recently declared desi cows means indigenous cows as rajmata gomata this state is maharashtra recently amrit gyan kosh and faculty development portals were launched under which mission these portals were launched under the mission karam yogi Which two institutions recently signed a memorandum of understanding to strengthen the cyber security in India? These two institutions are CSE Common Services Center and USI United Service Institution. Fine. Question number six is, what is the primary objective of Earth Observation Satellite Zero Six, which is developed by IS ISRO? Actually, ISRO is monitoring cyclonic storm Dana, which is approaching towards Odisha and West Bengal, using the eos06 and the insat 3d r satellites and talking about the earth observation satellite 06 it is also known as the ocean sat 3 and uh, it is an earth observation satellite which was launched on 26th of november 2022 so it was launched via the isro's polar satellite launch vehicle which is a uh, part of oceanet series as well and uh, it aims to monitor the earth's ocean and coastal areas main objective here is to enhance the services from ocean sat 1 and ocean sat 2 for oceanographic and atmospheric studies including the marine weather forecasting and coastal zone management so basic objective of this satellite is coastal zone management and oceanographic studies also don't forget that another name of this satellite is ocean sat 3 fine talking about isro when was isro established it was established in 1969 who is widely regarded as the father of indian space program answer is vikram sarabhai and what was india's first satellite launched by isro so it was named as arya bhat right so it was launched in 1975 and this satellite was launched to conduct different experiments in astrophysics and communication okay in the next slide we'll be talking about some science and technology related news the first question is What is the Specter RG recently seen in the news? What is it? It is kind of space observatory. DRDO has recently collaborated with which IIT for undertaking artificial intelligence driven surveillance and other project. For this purpose, DRDO has collaborated with IIT Bhubaneswar. Recently, which country's food agency has ordered a recall of India's spice product due to the presence of ethylene oxide? This is the country Singapore. 
Llama 3.2 is an open source AI model developed by which company? It has been developed by Meta. What is this recently seen in the news? It is basically a amoeba, but this question is not at all important. What is the primary cause of scurvy disease which was recently seen in the news? So scurvy disease is caused by lack of vitamin C. Which organization has recently captured an epic view of the largest volcano in our solar system? Named as Olympus Mons using the Mars Odyssey Orbital. This is NASA. Okay. Question number seven is, which port of India has been listed as an incentive provider on the Environment Ship Index platform? The correct answer is B option, Mormugaon Port. Mormugaon Port Authority is now listed as an incentive provider on the Environment Ship Index portal. And it is recognized by IAPH means International Association of Ports and Harbors. Okay, this body was established in 1955. It represents 185 ports and 160 port-related businesses in total 88 countries. It handles more than 60% of global seaborne trade and container traffic. So the Harit Shire scheme of Mormugao was launched in October 2023, and it offers discounts on port charges. For ships with high ESI scores and it promotes the reduced emission. So ESI evaluates the ships based on emissions of nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide and greenhouse gases and it identifies the vessels with superior environmental performance. Okay, So Mormu Gaon port that lies in Goa has been listed as an incentive provider on the environment ship index platform. Okay. Now, talking about this body, International Association of Ports and Harbors, it was founded in 1955 and what percentage of global seaborne trade is handled by the ports is associated with IAPH, this is more than 60%. Okay. In the next slide, we will be talking about some environment and biodiversity related current affairs. Bandipur Tiger Reserve is located in which Indian state? It lies in Karnataka. What is the primary objective of National Monsoon Mission recently seen in the news? Basic objective of this mission is to enhance the monsoon prediction capabilities in across India for all time scale. Recently scientists have discovered a new species of a shield tail snake in which region of India? Answer here is Western Ghat. International Big Cat Alliance was launched in which year? It was launched in 2023. Ratapani Wildlife Sanctuary is located in which Indian state? Answer is Madhya Pradesh. Malabar tree toad is endemic to which region of India? It is endemic to Western Ghat. Recently, nine captive bred pygmy hawks were released in which national park of Assam? So they were released in Manas National Park. Okay, You can also be asked about the location of Manas National Park. So it lies in the state of Assam. Fine. Question number eight is, who has been appointed as the 51st number of Chief Justice of India? This is an extremely important question. Answer is A option, Mr. Justice Jan Sanjeev Khanna. Okay. Justice Sanjeev Khanna has been appointed as the 51st Chief Justice of India and he is succeeding Justice D.Y. Chandrachud. Okay. So now he will take his oath of office on 11th of November 2024 after Justice Chandrachud retires on 10th of November 2024 upon reaching the age of 65 years and uh, Justice Khanna's term as CJI will last until 13th of May 2025. Okay. So who is the new Chief Justice of India? This is Justice Sanjeev Khanna. He is the 51st number of CGI and he is replacing Justice D.Y. Chandra Chut. Okay. Now in the next slide, let's talk about some important personalities that came into news. Recently, who was declared as the winner of Pritzker Architecture Prize? First of all, Pritzker Prize is given in the field of architecture and this year the winner is Riken Yamamoto. You have to tell me from which country he belonged to. Recently, who has been appointed as the director in the DPIIT means Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. The new director in DPIIT is Pratima Singh, who became the first nationalist first minister of Northern Ireland. This is Michelle O'Neill. Recently, which Indian received the Green Oscar Whitley Goal Award 2024? Answer is Purnima Devi Burman. Recently, who has been appointed as secretary at director level in the National Jute Board Kolkata? which works under Ministry of Textile. This is Shashi Bhushan Singh, who have been named as laureates of 2024 UNESCO Gulirmo Cano World Press Freedom Prize. This is the Palestinian journalist who have been awarded the Midori Prize for Biodiversity 2024. Answer is Vera Voronova and Yesabel Augustina Calron Carlos. Okay. Now question number nine is, what is the rank of India in the Global Nature Conservation Index 2024? 
we have performed very badly in this index and our rank is 176 india is placed at 176 position in the 2024 uh, global nature conservation index and we have a score of 45.5 placing us among the five worst performers we are under five means bottom five and this index is developed by ben gurion university it examines the land management biodiversity threats governance and future conservation trends india's high use of pesticide and soil pollution impact the soil health with a nitrogen sustainability index of 0.77 marine conservation needs improvement as only 0.2 percent of national waterways are protected and no other area is protected like this okay so significant biodiversity risk include for example habitat loss climate change deforestation and illegal wildlife trade strong political action and conservation laws are very important for sustainable development fine so india's rank in the global nature conservation index is 170 and we are in the bottom five okay now in the next slide let's talk about important reports and indices the first question is which organization recently released the navigating new horizon a global foresight report this report is given by unep united nations environment program headquarter lies in nairobi in kenya which organization recently released the recipe for a livable planet achieving net zero emissions in the agri food system report this report is given by world bank headquarter lies in washington dc a world of debt a growing burden to global prosperity report recently seen in the news was prepared by which organization this report is given by UNCTAD, United Nations Trade and Development. What is the rank of India in the World Press Freedom Index 2024? India's rank here is 159. Which organization recently released the World Population Prospect Report 2024? Answer is United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Next is recently which institution released the Aging Well in Asia Asian Development Policy Report? Answer is ADB, Asian Development Bank. According to IQ Air, which city has been recently ranked as the most polluted city globally? This question is not at all important because IQ Air has published its new edition now. Okay, And in the next uh, slide, we will be discussing this question. Last question is, which city was recently declared as the world's most polluted city by air quality monitor IQ Air? This is the city of Lahore in Pakistan. Lahore is currently the world's most polluted city globally with an AQI of 394 according to air quality monitor IQ Air. Okay? IQ Air uh, measures the air quality based on particulate matter 2.5 particle concentration which poses the health risk and the AQI of Lahore is 55.6 times greater than the WHO's safe air quality guideline. Okay? So an AQI over 100 is totally unhealthy while over 150 is deemed as very unhealthy and WHO air quality guidelines suggest PM 2.5 limits of 5 mg per cubic meter annually and 15 mg per cubic meter daily. Okay? And PM 10 limits of 15 mg uh, per cubic meter annually and 45 mg per cubic meter daily. So these guidelines actually help the governments to set the air quality standards but they are not legally enforceable. Okay? So Lahore city has been declared as the world's most polluted city and uh, this uh, data is given by air quality monitor IQ Air. Fine. In the last slide, we will be talking about some important government schemes. The first question is PM Kusum scheme comes under which ministry? Full form of PM Kusum is Prime Minister Kisan Urja Surakshayam Uthan, Uthan uh, Mahabhyan, and this scheme works under Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. What is the name of new scheme launched by the central government to enhance the youth employability in India? This is PM Internship Scheme. National Institute for the Empowerment of Persons with Intellectual Disabilities functions under which ministry? It functions under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Pradhan Mantri Mansa Sampada Yojana recently completed four years of implementation was launched in which year? So it was launched in 2020. Which state government recently launched Green Plus Scheme to enhance the forest conservation? This is Meghalaya. What is the primary objective of the great scheme recently seen in the news? Basic objective is to develop a startup ecosystem in technical textile. And the last question is recently which state government has launched Him Unnati scheme to boost the natural farming. So to boost the natural farming, Himachal Pradesh government has launched the Him Unnati scheme. Okay. So this is all about today's session. 
we have completed the 10 current affairs for today along with the revision part and now at last i'd like to give you some homework and uh, today your homework is related to business economy and banking current affairs so on the screen you can see seven questions and uh, they have been taken from the past few days current affairs i'm sure you are aware of them so please write your answers in the comment section i'll be waiting for your answers and now at last let me again remind you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application so if you want the pdf of the lecture you can subscribe to that course by paying a very nominal fees okay so now we'll be meeting tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu sana signing off